everyone, this is Oishi, Victor Ni from 3 Oscar Oscar Sierra and you are watching Oscar. From our previous shorts video, it is already known to you that an area office of the ITU is going to be inaugurated at New Delhi by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But before we get into the details, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. So let's get started. On 22nd of March 2023, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Area Office and Innovation Centre of the ITU in New Delhi at a program in Vigyan Bhavan. There were a lot of delegates also present from outside the nation to witness the event. The chief case aside the Prime Minister were Dr. S. Jay Shankar, Union Minister for External Affairs, Sri Ashwini Vaishnav, Union Minister for Railways, Communication and Electronics and Information Technology, Sri Devusin Chauhan, Union MOS for Communication, Ms. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Secretary General of the ITU. The meeting was very informative and centered around technology and India's journey on the 5G rollout. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched Digital India in 2015 and within a short time frame of 8 years, Digital India has touched the lives of billion plus people and digital public infrastructure is capable of solving complex problems at population scale. And through the Digital India program, Honorable Prime Minister transformed the telecom sector into a robust telecom sector. Such as, if a typical permit for a telecom tower used to take 220 days a few years ago, today it only takes 7 days. In fact, 85% of the permissions are instantaneous. Ms. Martin is a globally recognized leader with 30 years of experience in the information and communication technology sector and several years of connection with the International Telecommunication Union. She has broken the glass ceiling and is the first woman Secretary General of the ITU. She said ITU's presence in the region will help to introduce advanced technologies to improve capacity development foster entrepreneurship, partnerships and respond to needs on the ground from digital services to skills to cyber security to digital inclusion. It will bring ITU closer to its members in Asia Pacific so that they can serve them better by driving progress on universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation that is a clear mandate of the ITU. And that's exactly what the world needs right now to address our most complex challenges. And to achieve these sustainable development goals, she has made them her number one priority. India was praised for being a role model for countries that are looking up to digital transformation because it will help them to grow their economy, to rethink their government services, attract investment remake commerce and empower their people with the digital tools and the skills that they need to succeed. And I think that the results speak for themselves. India is home to one of the biggest startup ecosystems, digital payments market and tech workforces in the world under the vision and the leadership of His Excellency, the Prime Minister. Digital India has put the country on forefront of tech innovation and adoption with game-changing initiatives like the Unified Payment Interface, Platform UPI and so many others initiatives that have turned India into a knowledge-based economy where innovation is happening fast at low cost on a massive scale unseen before because at the center is a basic principle and that basic principle is inclusive growth. In the G20 presidency, this year marks an important midpoint for all the sustainable development goals that need leadership in this space. When it comes to digital technologies, 
if we don't harness digital means we cannot accelerate progress to achieving those sustainable development goals what we are starting here today is paving the way for a more innovative more equal more safe and more prosperous and more sustainable digital future for all people in all regions and we can't wait to see that what initiatives will be taken from the office and innovation center of the ITU to do will take digital innovation and digital transformation with cooperation from all of its member to new heights here in India and across South Asia. This pretty much sums up the meeting. Inaugurating the office area of the ITU is a great initiative of our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now we all have to wait and see how the communication will take place in the upcoming days. Please share the video with your friends and family and if you like the video hit the thumbs up. We will meet soon in a different video. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, your sanitizer.